So I'm going to be giving an updated review on Ignition Poker for this next year and also going to give some tips on how you can win consistently when you are playing on here. Of course, as I'm getting into this, if you guys wanted to get started here or learn more about them, we'll have some great bonus and resource links below in the description. And of course, if you want to comment below about any of these hands, feel free to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about cash games, six max cash games, because I feel like this is the most profitable form of poker you can be playing right now. Now, uh, I also recommend playing games um, at least above 100 bucks if you actually want to make some money, because if you're playing below that, honestly, you're going to be sitting around trying to grind it out like all the time uh you know with not a whole lot to show for the work and time you put in right um anyways the first thing i want to say is um you know you got to be playing really aggressive uh and you know pre-flop you want to be three betting people a lot you know with just uh sometimes like mid mediocre hands uh you know like jack tens jack 10 suited, uh, you know, queen tens. You want to be re-raising people, especially late in position when they're trying to raise you because they're trying to steal your blinds. That's something that you got to pay attention to. Obviously, too, you want to fold when, you know, someone's showing a lot of strength and you kind of have, you know, your gut instinct that you're beat. Now, this was a situation where um, I got re-raised with ace jack. I mean, I raised it uh, with just a, a few people to act. Unfortunately, I was thinking about it, but ultimately I knew the right move here was just to lay this hand down. So I did. And I think that's important too. You know, sometimes it's okay to fold a hand when you're not sure or when somebody's, you know, re-raising you quite a bit, kind of like right there. All right. So um, the next thing too is you want to get your bet sizing right. You know, when, when you know you've got somebody beat, you don't want to over bet a whole lot. You want to bet just enough to extract the right amount of money out of them. That kind of comes with knowing you know what type of hand the player you're up against might have putting them on some kind of range but at the same time uh it's important to get the correct bet sizing in these cash games so that you can get paid off right if you over bet um you know you're never going to get paid off so you got to understand you got to start betting the right amount in order to extract as much money as possible and that's obviously going to help you long term as well you know whether it's just winning more sessions making more money or just growing your bankroll uh the next thing i gotta say too is um and this is very important you got to put people on a range of what they might have i talk about this a lot because you know you can pick up on player tendencies based on how maybe uh, you know they raise pre-flop, act on the flop, uh, vice versa, um, and you know clearly putting people on ranges is what's gonna help you make a ton of money long term because it's gonna allow you to bluff people, and if you can bluff people consistently, you're gonna win more you know hands um, and just make more money, right? So it's obviously a combination of things that I'm getting into right here, but. You know, if you want to win consistently, whenever you hop into like an online poker session, it's there's just so many things you need to be good at. But I mean, if you work it on one of them at a time, you know, you're going to get better and better. Plus, the more hands you see and the more, uh, you know, time you put into this, the more you're going to make, uh, you know, obviously as well. All right. Anyways, this was a weird hand. I didn't this guy was like really aggressive at the table. He was kind of like pl playing the way I would have. He was definitely a shark. Um, but. Uh, you know, we, I hit the, the, the queen on the turn. So now I wasn't going anywhere. Right. I'm still losing to some hands because I mean, he did re-raise pretty big pre-flop, you know, ace queens got me beat. Um, but I'm beating, you know, some other hands like ace king, uh, you know, maybe pocket jacks, pocket 10, something like that. Um, and he played it pretty cautiously. So either he was being real sneaky about this hand or I was good. So I was trying to figure out the right bet sizing, and this is why I was talking about bet sizing. I bet $26. I felt like that was the right amount um, to get a call on this one, but I was actually shocked at what this guy had. I did not expect it at all. It was pretty ridiculous. We had the same hand, okay? So, yeah, um, I didn't expect that. I thought he was beat for sure, but I was completely wrong about it, but it is what it is. We didn't really uh, lose anything there, but we didn't win a whole lot either. Next hand at a queen seven offsuit. So, you know, starting this session off kind of just like breaking even, not really up a lot, not down a lot either. We've got a pretty good hand coming up here in just a sec.
Okay, this next hand was basically the hand of the session. I had an ace 10 suited of diamonds and uh, in the small blind, looking real pretty, right? Uh, absolutely love ace 10 suited. And, um, you know, I'm not sure if I put in a raise here or called a raise. I think maybe I raised it. All right, yeah, I raised it to six bucks. All right, player three was thinking about it. All right, he folded it, and then uh, me and player one uh, went heads up in this one. I couldn't remember if that guy called, but he didn't. Okay, so we paired the 10. Uh, we do have like a, you know, runner, runner flush possibility as well. Jack out there, some straight draws, uh, you know, so I was happy to check it to the turn. Turn card was a diamond, which was great. So, you know, we got some more outs here. We could still hit that, uh, you know, that diamond. Now he re-raised us, but fortunately we hit the nuts on the river. And what was crazy about this hand was I slow played this guy. Um, I checked it to him and, you know, gave him the opportunity to bet into it, which he's gonna do. So check this out. All right, he bet 30 bucks. And I'm basically gonna re-raise him a hundred bucks on this. And honestly, I don't think he could see this one coming at all. Uh, it, it, I played this so sneaky by checking it on the river. And I think that's what allowed me to get paid off here. So check it out. He did kind of let this tank and I was surprised at his cards. I thought maybe he had um, either two pair or uh, possibly a straight. I guess that's what I was thinking he had, especially since he uh, shoved his remaining seven bucks in. Uh, but yeah, he had two pair, and I guess he, he thought I was trying to make a play on him. So that was a nice one, I thought, right? Uh, anyways, bottom line, guys, if you want to win playing on Ignition Poker, you know, Short or long term, I mean, you got to be putting in the work, getting better, bluffing people, re-raising people, being more aggressive. It's such a combination of things. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, session here on Ignition. If you could smash a like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker content, and we'll see you in the next one.